Hey, Rob. I do think we can train our bodies to produce chemicals, particularly melatonin, which THC induces the pineal gland to produce. And really it's by training that behavior by being around people that are producing melatonin. So that could mean being around people that are smoking weed. It, it trains your body, even if you're not smoking weed, to start to think kind of in that form. Maybe per, your body just starts naturally producing the same chemicals as the people around you. So a lot of times when parents are like hippies and they smoke a lot of weed, they have kids. The kids I've met a lot of kids that grew up and maybe dabbled a little bit with it but don't really smoke it because they don't really get much of an effect with it because their minds already kind of think like that. Like there's two concentric circles, reality and reality with THC, and they, they come together at parts, but, you know, Kiff drew that out for me last night. Each of them has something to offer that the other doesn't. Another way would be to get video recording of someone stoned with this THC in the system. I'm thinking specifically about producing melatonin right now. The body can do anything. The body can grow wings and fly. Literally, over time, bodies can develop things like that. Gills, flippers, uh, like for me, I, I recorded all this video and a lot of it I, I, I recorded while stoned, while with THC in the system, so like, I don't know what you call stoned high or whatever, but like that, like dreaminess, so, so I can see it and watch it when I'm sober and learn how I was when I was stoned and think, how did I make that connection? I'll see a connection. And a lot of times I'll remember how I made the connection because I, I did it originally, so I'm like reliving it. So it's not like I'm watching someone else do it. And I'm like, how did they make that connection? Because I know my own language pretty well. I, I get it. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh. And I'll be sober-minded and it'll be like, whoa, oh, dude. And then I'll simply be able to make these very simple connections with with with, like I can fill in the gap simply, sober, that when I was stoned I didn't realize the, that the gap was there. It, because you're like floating, I'm floating when I'm in that state. And I'm walking when I'm sober. And really what you can do is turn your body into a vessel that can do both at any time. You can float or stand firm. Jedi. When I use the force it's a very internal, objective process. That was it. And you may have felt it. Sometimes I think people are like, whoa, and, they, and they'll kind of turn away from whatever the natural conversation. Like, if I'm having a lot of normal conversation, it's very cool. People go about they're who they are, we do their thing. And then if I use that force ability, if I, if I speak, people, if I do it when I'm not looking at someone, people will like, whoa, like they feel the eminence and they'll like, do something, and depending on what I force thought, focused, they'll do something according. Like if I focus health, they'll be healthy. Like someone will take a sip of water. If I focus, fuck, a girl may brush up against me or reach out and touch my hand or like bump brush into me or something. Or a guy, just like another human will make like that section. Like, or if I'm like, no, if I think like, no, it, it, something might break, like a glass might shatter. So I'm, I'm becoming more aware of how I'm focusing that. When I focus it at someone, they're like, like when I'm like, it's it, depending on what I'm saying, you know, you'll feel it. Like right there I said, hello my friend, you're healthy. Uh, amongst other things, but that was, that was the last thing I said. Um, so maybe, because uh, I was thinking people, if I focused that on them, would, would like back off, but it depends how I do it because I can make it very natural and look at people and use the force. It really changes the situation, man. I try not to do it. As soon as I do it once, it, it, it totally changes the course of the conversation. Maybe that's how I'll keep it natural and be this like party guy, but still stay on track and create positive constructive, helpful, healthy change for all people, all life, all molecular structure. Avoid destruction if possible or, or minimalize destruction and force creation and expansion 
and sustainable sustainability. It's it's great to it's wonderful to catch myself doing all this wacky shit on video and see it years later, literally now, or days later, or 20 minutes later, or right after I make it. Because I lock away how I was, and it becomes part of what I can be. And I'm constantly expanding on my potential because I'll remember what I was, and it becomes what I can be, and then I use that in conjunction with what else I can be and create something new, and I record it, and then, although I was that new thing for a moment, I see it on video, and can then recreate that new thing at any time and put that together with another thing or one of its old components to create a new, you know, it totally m mirror, the mind can remember anything. It was good hearing from you, Rob. It was really good hearing from you and a lot of other people that responded. It was good hearing from you, too. Rob, your video really struck me, man. Really good thoughts. It really a clear mind is the best way, but it's it's an it's it's the main way. It's the way of the spearhead, which is to say it can lead to destruction if embellished. So both, you know, you got to put the feathers of this of the arrow and the tip of the arrow, and, and it's like marijuana is the feathery guidance system or THC. You know, melt dreamy the dreaminess of human is that guidance system, and the structure of human is the needle point. And combined, they're a deadly force is what I was going to say. It's not deadly. I mean, I don't want it to be deadly. You know, I want it to be helpful. And, and then I was going to say helpful and harmful. I think it's inevitably helpful and harmful. Which is why I get so damn nervous about using the force. Because I think everything is helpful and harmful. And I'm afraid if I'm wielding this great power or focusing this great power with not a lot of other people that are doing it around me. Or not a lot of other people that know what they're know about it. I think a lot of people know about it, actually. So I don't feel like I'm alone. I think a lot of people are guiding it with me in my life. A lot of people, a lot of people are, are doing it. And a lot of people are doing it without consciously realizing it. But a lot of people are consciously realizing it and using forced thoughts, forced thoughts, focused thoughts, guidance of the system. So if, a lot, and if enough minds get together doing it, we'll easily be able to find constructive patterns like space expansion, space programs, and not fusion for weaponry, but fusion for power, power core, power systems and things. Two, two ways, man. Can't have one without the other, though. Like Darth Vader was the one to bring balance to the Force, and he did by wiping out all the Jedi, except for two of them. I think he even wiped out all the Sith except for himself and the Emperor, so there are two and two. And then Luke became a third, and then brought it back, and then there were many after him. But, you know, Darth Vader, they all thought he was like this golden child, like, oh, yes, yay, he's so strong with the Force, like nothing they'd ever seen. And he, his balancing act was a destructive one. I wonder about who the first Jedi was in the Star Wars mythology. There's not much mention of them, but like the first one to stumble onto that way of communicating with others in a non-aggressive, in, in, in an objective way, even though they're looking at them. Dude, I went on and on and on, man, but you asked me what I thought. Thanks for saying not to make, stop making videos, because every once in a while, you know, it hits, and I remember people like you that say, I remember you particularly saying, don't stop making videos. I remember that, I remember that, and, and then I think because if I hear it, then I, I, it doesn't come into my mind as much to stop making videos, you know? It's like, if I don't hear that for a long time, if I don't some, get some sort of positive... Uh, feedback, constructive feedback, like specific feedback from someone, like very focused saying what they think about what I'm doing. I, I have this tendency to start to doubt it. So, and I, But I don't like to rely on people, so I don't fish for feedback. But sometimes it just gets so hard, and it's really refreshing to hear a voice like that. So thank you.